dear students once again i welcome to this online class today we are going to learn about one rearrangement reaction called as benzidine rearrangement benzidine a diamino compound is used in the past as a dye in industries for uh, cloth paper and leather later it was found to be carcinogenic and now it is banned however our uh, university syllabus include this uh, benzidine rearrangement and now let us move on to this topic so now let us move on to the benzidine rearrangement in this rearrangement hydroso compounds rearrange rearranges in presence of an acid so it is an acid catalyst rearrangement of hydroso compounds and it is an example of a 5,5 sigma tropic rearrangement i will explain about the sigma tropic rearrangement in the next slide but as of now we look into the starting material of this rearrangement and you know this is hydrazine and in this compound one hydrogen of hydrazine is replaced by a phenyl group therefore this is a phenyl hydrazine and here you see two hydrogens are replaced by phenyl group therefore this is 1,2 diphenyl hydrazine or otherwise called as hydrazobenzene and this is our starting material this reacts in presence of an acid and at a temperature of about 150 degrees centigrade to give the product benzidine or more specifically it is called as 4 comma 4 dash diamino biphenyl in the last slide we have seen about sigma tropic uh, reactions so what is sigma tropic reactions it is one type of a pericyclic reaction pericyclic reactions as the name suggests it involve a cyclic transition state therefore sigma tropic reactions are a specific type reaction of a pericyclic reaction this is the definition of a sigma tropic rea reactions rearrangements in which a sigma bonded atom flanked by pi electron systems shifts to a new location with the reorganization of the pi bonds so in short we can say a sigma bonded atom shifts to a new location with the reorganization of the double bonds that means the double bond present in the initial compound also shifts to some other place let me explain this with a small example in this picture you see the starting material is given in the green shaded box there are five carbons with two double bonds present in the first carbon there is an alkyl group r is attached in the right hand side the equation the reaction proceeds that is 1 comma 3 shift that means the single bond between carbon and r group that is the r group shifts from first carbon to the third carbon so the single bond that is the sigma bonded atom shifts to a new location that is the third carbon therefore this is termed as 1 comma 3 shift and in a similar way in the left hand side of the equation you see the carbon uh, the alkyl group attached with the first carbon shifts from first position to the fifth position therefore this is termed as 1 comma 5 shift for sigma tropic rearrangements involve the shifting of a sigma bonded atom to a new position and in the same time there is the double bond position is also changed now we are going to look about one more example so in this example there is a compound containing six carbon atoms with uh, two double bonds after heating to 150 degree centigrade uh, there is the product is obtained and you see the single bond between third and fourth carbon shifts to first and sixth carbon in the product so in the last example we have seen 
our sigma bond is present in the terminal position but now the transferring sigma bond is present uh, between the compound therefore uh, we have to represent in this way that is 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 and now it is very clear the carbon carbon single bond between first and first carbon shifts to the position third and third carbon you can also clearly see in this way so the arrow shows that uh, this mechanism involves a cyclic transition state and in our previous example we have seen that 1 comma 3 shift and 1 comma 5 shift now let me ask you a question whether this is uh, 1 comma 3 shift or uh, what I will give you some example I will give you two options whether it is 1 comma 3 shift or uh, it is a 3 comma 3 shift uh, most of you suddenly tells that it is a 1 comma 3 shift but uh, the answer is wrong it is actually a 3 comma 3 shift this is a special case and this uh, reaction is called as cope uh, rearrangement uh, we do not, not uh, we do not uh, tempted to tell this as 1 comma 3 shift it is formed at 150 degree centigrade in presence of an acid to give the product benzidine and you see a new carbon carbon single bond is formed between the two benzene rings various theories are postulated for the benzidine rearrangement we are going to see about the polar transition state theory proposed by Banthrop, Ingold and Hughes in the first step of this uh, mechanism there is a diprotonated molecule is formed this is the starting material hydrosobenzene and it is protonated by the acid and the two nitrogens are protonated to form a diprotonated molecule so in the second step the bond between nitrogen and the nitrogen is going to break so here is the initial step this bond the sigma bond is being broken and it is shifted from its position to this position therefore there is a new carbon nitrogen double bond so what happens uh, consecutive shifting of bonds taken place and you see here this double bond in the first uh, benzene ring is transferred to the the para position of the second benzene ring and uh, finally another uh, consequence of bond shifting takes place to give uh, a structure like this in in this structure you see there is uh, in both the benzene ring there is a carbon and nitrogen double bond is present and another one important thing is there is a new carbon carbon single bond is formed between the two benzene rings and we call this uh, reaction is 5 comma 5 sigma tropic from our previous knowledge we noted that this uh, sigma bond is going to shift its position therefore we can number like it like this this nitrogen is first one second three four five again here also one two three four five therefore this bond its first position both nitrogens if you take this as first position it is shift shifted towards the fifth position therefore this uh, reaction is termed as five comma five sigma tropic rearrangement so after the 5 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement the two hydrogens present in this benzene ring is lost as 2 h plus that is protons and again a sequence of bond shifting takes place in this compound uh, to give a stable compound benzidine now in this reaction benzidine is obtained as a major product uh, almost 70 percentage only we can uh, got uh, uh, 70 percentage of benzene is obtained another one product we obtained in this reaction is diphenylene it is a minor product uh, we can get at, at most 30 percentage of this product how this reaction happens again after the formation of the diprotonated uh, compound this uh, double bond that is the double bond present in the first benzene ring in the third position tax the para position of the second benzene ring so 
now this is not a 5 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement uh, we can probably say this is uh, a 3 comma 5 uh, type of uh, rearrangement and then the proton is lost to give the compound known as diphenylene this compound is also uh, always present along with the benzidine however benzidine is a major product and diphenylene is our minor product again i repeat the mechanism involved in the benzidine rearrangement this rearrangement is a concerted one with the 5 comma 5 sigma tropic uh, shift of the single bond the reactant hydrosobenzene is uh, catalyzed by the acid to form a diprotonated compound in which the sigma bond between the two nitrogen is shift from its position between the two benzene ring that is a 5 comma 5 sigma tropic rearrangement takes place to form a new diprotonated compound which then loses two of its proton to give the stable benzidine as the major product and these are some of my uh, references uh, i hope that uh, you have clearly understood the concept behind this benzidine rearrangement we will meet in the next class thank you